right? Um, all right, so I'm at the very beginning of this project, and this is, um, I have my still set. I have my ground prepared. I also have a piece of paper covering it, so when I'm not working on it, I can put it away and not worry about something uh, scraping it or running into it. And before I just jump in, and part of charcoal is jumping in a little bit, but I do want to have some kind of a plan. It's not going to be as strategic as it has been in the past with other projects. However, um, you want to have some kind of a plan because there's there's going to be some forms uh, cropped off here because um, I don't want you to draw the environment behind it. And this, this should be just kind of this abstract space or abstract kind of look, abstract looking drawing, but it's not going to be abstract. It's going to be a very representational because you're drawing what you see, um, with the exception that's going to take a while for viewers to recognize what things are. All right, so first of all, you want to just grab your sketchbook, rip a piece of paper out, get a piece of tape. Quickly hang, hang it there just to kind of get a quick sense of what you're doing. And you're going to be, you're probably going to fill a square like that. The proportion of this is equivalent to the proportion of your drawing uh, board. Do not make a square. I know I just said square. I meant rectangle, but do not make a square. Do not make um, a format that doesn't fit the format that you're drawing because it's not going to translate. So you want it to kind of match it as well as you can. Um, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to focus in. And it's hard to kind of explain, but I'm just going to go boom, 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 boom. And so I'm zooming in. And it's actually something you can do with your phone, you just set my phone is being used um, to, oh, I just thought of an idea. I'll be right back. <laughs> see in my iPad, this is actually pretty effective. Um, and the frame of this is pretty similar to what I have here. So I'm thinking of like zooming in about that close, something along the lines of, of that. So you can kind of see how deep I, I am in terms of um, zooming in. Now, I can also zoom out a little bit like right there. So I'm not totally sure exactly what I'm going to do. I might go right here. That's what I'm thinking. I kind of like that sock in there. And I like this this thing that's right there. I don't know if you can tell, but the um, the sleeve. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't remember that. <laughs> the sleeve, the sock. Um, and it's nice, there's bits and pieces of things being recognizable. And you might say, wait a minute, there's this there. So I'm gonna angle down because I'm looking down. And that's why it's difficult for me to do this demonstration because I can't look down and have the camera there and all that stuff. So this is the only setup I can have where the camera, I can look at the camera and you can see what, what I'm doing. So, but ideally you're going to be drawing looking down and that way you don't have to worry about the background of the wall and all that stuff. Um, so you can use your phone and just kind of move around and get a good uh, viewpoint. And right now, so what I'm doing now, I mean, this is a viewfinder. If you ever used a viewfinder in a, in a class and you made your own, you cut a square out. You have them here. You have an iPad or you have a cell phone. They're already pre-made, so might as well use them to your ad advantage. Um, I really like this thing right here. I don't know if you can tell, but there's this kind of shape. And it's a curve, it's dark behind. And, um, I might curate this because the black of the sock is really close to the dark brown of the, um, what, what do you call it there? So I might just do something like that. That feels a little better. Just by curating it a little bit and perfecting it. Now I have a little lighter value there and it contrasts this. It's going to be a little easier for me to draw, I think. So. 
Now I'm going to just do a quick sketch. Put this down. Uh, so if I wanted to focus on this guy here, maybe that, maybe that thing's like right here. Or maybe it's up here. So when you're drawing and um, something like this, you're trying to figure out, um, trying to make sense of this chaos, right? You need to kind of lock in on somewhere, your home base, I call it your home base. It's also called a reference point, um, but an, a, a shape that's easy for you to understand. To me, this shape seems pretty simple for me to understand and it's a good place to build from. I can call it my home base. I can refer there and I can build out. I go back, I build out, go back, I build out. I'll show you that once we get to the main drawing. For now, I'm just kind of rough sketch, just to kind of get a sense of how all this is going to fit. Notice I'm going to cite or use a vertical alignment to see where the sleeve lines up with that thing. The sleeve's about right here. So I just kind of quickly did a little like opening of the sleeve. It's shaped a little differently. It's shaped something more like this. Then it goes here, goes up. Actually, I really like that sleeve. That's kind of fun. I might even zoom in on that. I'm not sure. Um, we'll see. And, and just by sketching this out, it's going to give you a better understanding of what you're drawing. So when you do start to draw it out with charcoal, it's, it'll be easier for you to figure out. Now you might ask, like, hey, wait, where's the straight line construction? Where's the measuring? Where's the setting? Remember, this is a sketch. You're just kind of roughing this out. And um, so don't worry about all that at this moment, at that moment. And there's a sock in here. It kind of does this and does that. And it kind of comes over. So basically, I'm just trying to figure out where my home base is. And you might look at this like, what the heck is going on there? <laughs> I'm just running these lines across that I see, um, making sense of things. If, if it helps to just say, all right, that's where my, oh, by the way, I'm using a 3B because um, it's a soft pencil deliberately. If it helps to kind of throw in some dark values, like that's the opening of, of the cuff. Um, this is all generally dark. And this is white. So that's kind of like a really rough, rough idea of composition I might want to consider pursuing. Um, I love all the folds up here. I love this. I like this area here. Still trying to figure out the sock, but I think I'm just going to keep it the way it is. Um, it was up here. I'm just going to look at it once again. I think it blends too much in. It's going to get too confusing with the dark, so I think I'm going to keep it down there. So I'm just kind of moving things around to my benefit. But all I, I did all that to figure out where the heck this thing is. Now I'm just going to do a couple measurements just to see like how wide. If I measure this and I count how far it goes over, I can kind of see how far um, this thing's going to be. So this thing's going to be a lot bigger than what I think. Uh, it might even be like here, here, or no, is it, yeah, here to here. And then I start to see the other, the other thing. So it's probably going to be from here to here to here to here. So you see that shape here, which is here. And so I'm just going to make a mental note. That's kind of where I want it on my main drawing. And so what I'm going to do is take this off, use it as a reminder, 
and I'm going to start. I'm already 10 minutes in, into it, but um, actually, I'll start a new video and then we'll get into it.